Grace Grace and today we're going to try Golden Gay Time flavoured Cocoa Pops and cake. In Australia a Golden Gay Time is a delicious vanilla ice cream and it's got like biscuit crumbs and caramel and it's awesome and I don't think I can name a person that doesn't like one. Recently they have been coming out like um, I tried popcorn in another video that was really good. They've got different um, ice creams, they've got collaborations with Fruit Loops and I really want to try that but for now we will stick with Cocoa Pops, which are usually just chocolate, so I'm assuming there's going to be a little bit of like caramel in there, and cake, which is looks like a vanilla cake. It says vanilla cake with delicious toffee flavored icing mix and iconic Golden Gay Time crumbs. So I've gone ahead and done the really difficult part of making the cake. That's just the boring bit, and I've got the icing and the sprinkles there. And I'm going to make it right now, and then we're going to try everything. So I came across a problem. I'm just going to grab it. These are how many crumbs you get. It doesn't seem like a lot. Like the box, completely encrusted. And given I didn't use the right size, like I don't have round pans, one day I'll get around to that. Um, so it's 20 centimeters by seven centimeters round pan. And I thought, oh, it can't be that much different. So I ended up with this. Whoop. Oh my gosh, there's a knife on it and I'm gonna hurt myself. I ended up with that. Like. It's still a lot of cake mix and I don't know if like the outer dimensions are that much different from around one. But that is not a lot of sprinkles. I can't see that covering the whole cake as much as I want it to. I really should have bought like you can get the tins of crumbs that you can put on your own ice cream and desserts and stuff and they're delicious. So next time if I buy one of these again, which hopefully I do, I'm going to buy a whole tin of crumbs and I'm going to like completely encrust it. And hopefully that'll be a lot better. I'm not saying this won't be good, but I just don't see that as enough crumbs to do that. But we'll have to find out. So I made the icing and there's a knife. Oh, Alrighty. Mm, actually, if I just kind of lay the knife on the plate, that might be the right level. Uh, maybe. Oh, mostly. I don't know what it looks like on that side, but this side looks good. Whoop! Nearly cut myself. Alright, I'm going to wash my hand. Oh, maybe I should open it first. Oh, And then wash my hand. And get a cutting board. Alright, the instructions after making the icing say place bottom layer onto a serving plate, spread half the icing like on that bit, put the other layer on, and then ice all the sides and the top. And then we can get ready for the fun part. So half, I'm not sure. I don't know. Again, I don't know because I made it a little differently. If I should use a little bit less in the middle to make sure I've got enough for the outside. That seems like enough anyway. All the way up to the edges. It specifically says to the edges. All right, I think that's good enough. And you. Got a bit sticky. That's okay. Beautiful. All right. Maybe I'll speed this part up. Should I get a knife? Maybe that might be easier. Bad bunny. Maybe I could have put more in the middle. This is still a lot of icing left, but that is good to know for next time. Baby girl, what's what's wrong? Sweetheart. I'm making cake, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you yelling? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Alright, that is definitely the nicer side. And does this just open easy? Oh okay, it does. Decorate top and sides of cake with golden gay time crumbs well we'll have to see how well this stuff does the icing is pretty wet so it seems to be holding everything how do you get it on the sides properly without getting your hands dirty i think i did that with the uh, m ms and skittles cakes and um yeah that was just really messy now it's not sticking to some other parts um is there an easy way to do it? Should I put a spoon there maybe? Uh, sort of not. 
This is really more difficult than I thought it would be. I thought they would just stick. Oh well, they're just going to go everywhere. We can hope for the best. It'll still taste good. We'll just scoop some up from the plate. I'm eating it. Alright, good enough. Alright, I decided to just like scoop up the crumbs and stick it to the bottom. It kind of, I don't know if it makes it look better or worse, but it'll still be delicious. And like I thought that you wouldn't have enough sprinkles, they really could have doubled the amount of sprinkles and then I don't know how you would put it on without getting it everywhere on the sides and stuff, but they should figure that out in the instructions. Maybe like ice sides and dunk them. Would that work? It may be a little bit better than this. Alright, put that to one side and we'll get some cocoa pops out. I really should have bought scissors over. A knife will do. I really shouldn't be trusted with either. So maybe I can just open this one on its own. Struggles, struggles, struggles. Okay. They smell chocolatey and caramelly and so amazing. You better taste as good as you smell, my friend. Okay. There's, looks like there's more white ones than brown ones. So maybe the brown ones are just regular Cocoa Pops. And then the Gay Time ones are the white ones. Can I just get like a few of those ones by themselves? Oh, yep. Like a caramelly, vanilla-y rice bubble. I wonder if I can get some of the Cocoa Pop looking ones on their own. All right, just a few. I'm pretty sure they just taste like regular Cocoa Pops, but they kind of taste like a little bit of honey, but maybe that's just like rub off from the other flavoring. And I forgot milk, so I better grab that. Lucky there's more in the fridge. Alrighty, maybe that much. Oh, my favorite cereal spoon is this one. It holds more milk and just seems like a better milk to cereal ratio. This is like a regular sized spoon. So I'm pretty sure like that's a serving spoon, but it's really good for cereal. I love the noise it makes. Looks like some of the colors washed off, so they nearly all look the same color. Oh my god, that's good. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. It's like caramelly, vanilla a little bit honeycomb flavored. It's so good. I really hope that they keep these around. I think I should buy lots of boxes so the sales kind of go up just in my area. Maybe they'll stay around. Everyone should buy them while they're like here so you can know what they taste like. The fingers crossed, they keep making them. And now for cake. The whole entire reason I wanted to make this video is because I wanted cake and I knew that this was sitting in the cupboard. I'm so excited. It better taste as good as just the icing on its own because of course I had to lick the knife when I was done. Oh, don't lick knives. It was not sharp in any way, shape or form, I promise. Oh, I should have got a plate out. I'm not organized today. of those and maybe I should take like a middle slice I'm sorry eating the end slice with all the icing on my own time okay I'm just gonna destroy it uh, ooh. <laughs> well that was pretty awkward all right now time for the best bit well maybe not cocoa pops are really good I got some whipped cream out just in case it needs it it might be a little too sweet yeah I don't think so <laughs> Not many things are too sweet for me, I'm going to be honest. Mm. It's pretty good, but it's a little one flavour, so I think I will add whipped cream. I'm sure whipped cream makes everything better. That is a pretty big chunk. That really didn't work. Mm. Yeah, maybe that's just too big a bite. I'm gonna do it anyway. It wasn't by any means bad beforehand, but the whipped cream just like made it extra, extra good. Highly recommended. I can't tell you which one of these is actually better because I love cereal and that's just freaking amazing. And this takes like a little bit of effort, but it's really good too. So buy them both and uh oh. What do I always do? I have to combine things. It needs to be done. Maybe that was a few to make cocoa bumps. <laughs> Need some more whipped cream to hold that together. I'll try and get a smaller bite this time, but there are no guarantees. One more cocoa pops on there. 
Ooh, maybe you could crush up these and put them like on the edges as well. That might be a good time. Hang on, I've got to find out. Oh my gosh, heck yes. I'm going to buy this again and just in my own time because it's freaking delicious. I'm going to make it and like I'm still going to buy an extra tin of crumbs because it's necessary. Like entirely crumb the top and put cocoa pops like around the outsides. Like thought for a second about crushing them. But just as they are, they're delicious and add like another texture and flavor and definitely whipped cream with it all. And just, I love it. You've got to go out and try it and let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.